Last week was Remembrance Day and I was privileged to attend Forestville RSL in my electorate of McKellar to honour servicemen and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. But, Deputy Speaker, our veterans deserve more than remembrance. They need far greater support than they are currently receiving, particularly during the often difficult transition time from service to civilian life. As a GP, I'm aware of the devastating impact service may have on the lives of veterans. There may be physical wounds and there may be deep psychological wounds. The transition to civilian life can often be extremely challenging because of the loss of community, camaraderie, supports and routine. We have just seen the completion of the Royal Commission into Veteran Suicide, and in the last sitting week, the Veterans Entitlement Treatment and Support Bill passed through this House. But on the ground, in McKellar, veterans often still lack the support they need. Simple things like adequate support for health services. As an example, a number of physiotherapists in McKellar have written to me to explain what is really an unacceptable situation. Currently, DVA reimbursement rates are insufficient to cover the actual cost of physio care, leaving physios unable to provide critical services such as pain management, rehabilitation, falls prevention and musculoskeletal treatments without financial loss. These services are essential to veterans' physical and mental well-being. As noted by the Royal Commission, which highlighted the impact of chronic pain on mental health. Many physios, out of their compassion and commitment to the veteran community, have continued providing care despite being out of pocket. However, this underfunding and reliance on physios' goodwill is not sustainable and will compromise veterans' access to this important aspect of their health care. The Australian Physiotherapy Association suggests aligning DVA rebates with the NDIS fee schedule to ensure fair compensation for physiotherapy services. I have written to the Minister for Veterans Affairs and urged him to act to ensure our veterans are getting the health support they deserve. I would also like to take this opportunity to make a shout out to the fabulous Saltwater Veterans whose core vision is to cultivate a connected community of veterans and their families through engagement with water activities. The Saltwater Veterans Sailing Project is all about supporting fellow wounded, injured and sick veterans and their family and friends. If you are a veteran, get on down to the Royal Prince Alfred Yacht Club in Newport on Sydney's northern beaches and join and support this terrific endeavour. Thank you.